it's Mim with Engadget. And I'm here at Google I.O. with Chris from AKQA. You guys set up this uh, Google Air Show here on I.O. Tell us a little bit about this. Sure. Uh, it began with a standard RC blimp. Uh, it's a 5 volt system. Yeah. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter receiver combo. Uh huh. And it has three different channels uh, throttle and rotating rudder and elevation. You oh, cool. This. So you can rotate it that way yes. as well. Right on. Uh, so this came originally with a nickel cadmium battery. Right. And we wanted to power a uh, Raspberry Pi and an HD webcam and a Wi Fi dongle. So we decided to go with a larger milliamp hour battery that would be a lithium polymer base. We use this, which is called a battery elimination circuit. This accepts up to 25 volts right. and will output programmable 4.8 to 9 volt. We're using 5 volt. Cool. So this is a 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery mm -hmm. to sell. So that goes through, through this. I made this wiring harness. It splits into three parallel circuits. Right. One powers the Pi, one powers the servo for the camera, uh -huh. and one powers the RC 5 volt system. Right on. Cool. The Raspberry Pi has two USB ports built in. We're using one for a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi dongle. This is made by Asus. We took the casing off to make it a little bit lighter. Sure. And the USB camera just plugs right up into here. And then we just sit in here. So the Raspberry Pi, uh, it's a ARM processor, and yeah. we're running Linux on this. Okay. Particularly, it's a, a variant of Debian called Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. Cool. Um, and the software solutions we're using are VLC to stream an RTSP stream of uh, 720p, 30 hertz, and also uh, MJPEG streamer to do a motion JPEG stream that we can capture individual frames out of easily. So you're you're sending this to YouTube, right? Yes, it's streaming live. Streaming on live up there. And uh, how much did you have to do in terms of, of coding other than uh, implementing the VLC stuff? Is there, are you using some Python or anything like that? We're using Python. We're using Python to control a servo that the camera sits on. Right. And that is controlled by the one PWM port on the pod. So you send it a PWM signal and it goes between 180 degrees of freedom and cool. that's based on the width of the pulse that you're sending it. So you're adding some functionality sometime later this week and probably tomorrow. There will be an additional photo experience where you should be able to take photos and it will get shared to a uh, public album on Google Plus. Uh -huh. And then you'll be able cool. to view your photos and other people's photos from the show. Right on. Tell us again what the URL is if anybody wants to watch this live. Go to ioairshow.com. Great. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers.